Hello everybody and welcome back to Guided Hacking. This is Brett HK and today we're going to be taking a look at an interesting sample which attempts to raise its privileges to system privileges and then attempts to disable Windows Defender. We'll be taking a look at how it does this. Let's get into it. So we start off by looking at the executable which is a POC of this technique. It was shared within a article contest for a hacking forum and I thought it was super interesting so I've taken a look at it today in this video. And we start off with a normal .NET form, which will be ran upon startup. It'll initialize the form and then it will start with the code. So the code starts by looking at a string called process owner and calls a function called get process owner of the current process. And this process owner will get what user is currently running the process and if it doesn't have an owner then it'll just return no owner then it'll check with that process owner whether it is an administrator or if the process owner starts with nt so when you run a process as the system administrator or the system level privilege for a process within windows that will start as nt hyphen system and that's why it's checking if it starts with nt so what it's fundamentally doing here is checking whether it has privileges to try and attempt to disable windows defender and if it doesn't then it's going to elevate privileges by calling this jump to sys function and this is the first of the two functions that are really what make up the meat of this binary and i will attempt to explain both of them although it's quite difficult to really go into the low level details of this so i'll just be doing a high level explanation before we continue looking at the binary i just want to point out that this is the microsoft windows defender process that is running on my system right now this is running on my host system as i have it disabled within my vm but the file name is msmpengine.exe and if we look at the security of the file we can see the security of each of the groups that have access to it. When looking at each of the groups, we can notice why it's not an easily disabled process. When looking at system, we can see that the system has full control over the process and the binary. But then when we go down to administrators, which is the normal permissions for a user on a system, you can see that it doesn't have full control over this process, but it does have the, the permissions to modify and do some other things with the binary and then if you go down to users you certainly don't have much control over it at all and you can't modify it but solely just read and, and execute it this is why we need to jump to the system permissions from administrator because even if you have the administrator privileges you won't be able to disable windows defender and that's what this binary attempts to do within the code that I'm going to explain. So at a high level, what this code here, jump to sys, will attempt to do is it will attempt to increase its privileges through a duplication of the winlogon.exe token. And to understand that, I'm just going to go through some theory. So as you can see on the right here, down at the bottom, we have winlogon. And Windows has a process called winlogon and it runs with system privileges and is responsible for user authorization. We will duplicate the token of this process and run our own program with the stolen token. And if we check the properties of this, we can see that the user that's running it is NT authority system. So a user that will have the privileges of killing or disabling the Windows de Defender process. So to get the privileges, we're going to first use open process token to open the token of the process with the token duplicate access level. And then we're going to set the startup info with parameters for starting our process. We're going to then use duplicate token X to duplicate the token of win logon and copy it. And then we're going to use create process with token W to start our process with the token that's stolen from win logon, thus increasing our privileges. So let's go back to looking at the binary. So the binary starts with getting the location of our running process and our running binary. So this will just get where this silent.exe is stored on the disk. It will then get the process by name of win logon and get a handle to that as process. It will then set a pointer of zero and open the process token using that handle. And this is just from the Windows API and is well documented if you Google some of these functions. You will then set the startup info to the default startup info with DW flags equals one and show window equals one. So setting show window to one, it will just show the window normally. 
It'll then set the normal security attributes for the process and then duplicate the token X, calling this function here, with the pointers, the correct security out attributes and then putting them into the pointers that were initialized this pointer here zero was first initialized to zero and then open process token for the win logon process we'll put that token out to that pointer that was initialized and then that will be put into this call to duplicate token x and then the output of duplicate token x will be put into 02 which is initialized and we finally do the call of create process with token w with that duplicated token and we set the location of the started process to the location of the binary that's running in this case silent.exe and we use some of those initialized startup info settings such as showing the window and saying dw flags to one thus it will start this process again with nt system privileges and so this form one will be run again and we'll pass over this jump to syst because the process owner will be nt system now that the binary has correct privileges it can start to attempt to disable windows defender some of you may be wondering how do you learn malware analysis and how you can do the same as i do in these videos well, if you're prepared to put in the hard work and time, then I recommend that you go and check out the amazing content on the Guided Hacking website. There is an insane amount of technical content specifically regarding reverse engineering. So go check out Guided Hacking as your one-stop shop for all things reverse engineering. So for some theory to understand how this attack works, we need to know that the Windows Defender process has some access levels, which allows it to read files off of the system and see whether they are malicious. So to stop Windows Defender from working, what we're going to do is simply just remove those access tokens and set them to untrusted so that the process can't read any files from system thus it can't scan for malware now the way the malware that we're looking at does this is it will first use open process to get the handle of the process with access to query limited information it will open the process token with the access level it will fill out a structure that we'll use as a process token and then convert the string sid to sid so we'll get the SID of the ML untrusted parameter. So this is just getting the SID of the parameter ML untrusted. And we can change that structure into a pointer and set the token information of the process to the untrusted level. This way we can change Windows Defender to being untrusted and it can't read any of the files on the system. Now let's see how it's done in practice. So first we get the process by name of the Windows Defender process, which is here. And we open this process with the win API open process with query limited information as the process access flag. And we initialize our token handle pointer. We then open the process token of the Windows Defender process and put it into that token handle. Once that's done, we'll create a structure called the token mandatory label and set it to the default token mandatory label, set the SID and the attributes, and then we'll convert the SID into a string. This string here, S-1-16-0, is the SID of ML untrusted. And so we're gonna convert that and use that to apply it to our process of the Windows Defender process. And that's all done through here by just converting our structure to a pointer and then calling the set token information of our process which was in the token handle pointer and we can set that SID of ML untrusted to that token handle which was in the int pointer pointer and once that's done then Windows Defender will be disabled. I hope that was a good overview of how this exploit functions and hopefully we don't see this in malware as it's quite a smart way of disabling Defender but until then I hope you enjoyed the video and can take something away from this. Until the next one, goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, a like would help a lot and subscribe to be notified of future uploads. If you haven't already, check out guidedhacking.com for a step-by-step -step introduction to game hacking and an ever-growing catalog of content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.